Welcome back to Everything Compact Tractor. Today we're going to be talking about float mode. Float mode, whether you agree with it or not, it, it does have its place. It's supposed to be where you can drop your bucket totally down on the ground and either bat drag with it. And it, what it allows it to do, it allows the, the loader itself to float up and down. It doesn't affect the bucket, the, the, the hydraulics of the bucket. You can still uh, roll in or, or dump out. Um, so you can change the position of the bucket while it's in while it's in uh, float mode. Um, it doesn't float mode doesn't stop you unfortunately from digging into the ground when you're trying to float across the top of it. It works great for gravel uh, or or any extremely hard surface where you're trying to go, let's say you're scooping up gravel to do a driveway. If the driveway already has gravel on it, you've got a hard surface there. You can put it in float mode and it'll just slide right underneath the gravel. You can pick it up without digging down deeper and pulling up the, the, the surface that's already there. Uh, in dirt like what we're in right here, um, unfortunately it does happen you end up uh, digging in i'm going to show real quick uh, what it does i'm going to raise the bucket up i'm going to let it fall and then i'm going to show the difference with float mode and without float mode and show you how the bucket operates so okay we're going to raise it all the way or not all the way but we're going to go ahead and start coming down. I'm going to go ahead and put it in float mode. And that's bringing the, the loader control all the way forward. You saw that it freely dropped the loader itself. Now, if you'll watch it, the floater just kind of floats. I mean, the loader is just, if you'll watch this, the loader kind of floats. It allows the bucket, we're coming up without raising the front end of the tractor. And we can drop the bucket or pull the bucket back in. And if you'll notice, the only thing that's moving here is the loader itself. Now, we'll bring it down back flush to the level to the, uh, to the ground. I'm going to take it out of float. Now, you can tell when you're not in the float mode. I'm going to roll the bucket out, and you'll see the front of the tractor comes up. That tells us we are not in float mode. We can always roll it in, and that's not going to affect anything. And we'll roll it back out again, and it shows bringing the tractor up. And we'll go back into float. And you'll see the tractor stays on the ground. The bucket's rolling out. We're going to curl it back in and we stayed on the ground. Now what I'm going to show you is as we go into this pile, we'll put it in float mode, and while nine times out of ten you can actually go into this pile and pick up uh, your, your material without any problems, if you're not perfectly flat with your bucket on the ground, you are going to end up uh, digging and going into it. But let's go ahead and try this. We're in four-wheel drive, we're in low. We're going to back up here. We're in float mode. We've got our, our bucket level with the ground. We're coming forward. Now you see right there, we came to a dead stop. But what we can do is we can roll this in, pop it out of float, and we've got our material. And we'll show that again. loader back, I mean our bucket back in, come down to the ground, go into float mode, I don't particularly like bringing the front end of the tractor off the ground, defeats the purpose of having four wheel drive, puts a lot of strain on your loader, a lot of strain on your attachment points for that loader. The one nice thing that this does allow us to do, now, if we wanted to back drag with float mode, we come down, we want to keep our bucket 
at a 40 degree angle or less. And we'll drop that down. We're in float. And now the loader is just going to float up and down as we move forward, uh, backwards, back dragging. There's no pressure on those front two rams at all. There are different ways we can do this. We can bring this all the way, bring the bucket all the way back in, go down, put it in float mode, and drag with the bottom of the bucket, which is a very safe way to do it. No pressure whatsoever on those rims. So that's float mode. And you'll see right here, again, I'll go into float mode and the loader will drop. Loader's dropping on its own. So, next time you're out and using your tractor, try float mode. See if you like it. Let me know down in the comments how well you think it works. Uh, let me know if you think it puts any less load or any less strain on the tractor itself in the comments. Thanks. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. We're going to have more content on the channel. Uh, should be good.